All right, so I'm about to show you a bunch of awesome Zodiac Tri-Brigade combos that you can use, but if you're looking for a full guide on how to use this archetype and you need a deck list and a deck profile and an explanation of what all the cards do, check out my video for that. The link is in the description. It's in the little card. It's in the top comment. It's everywhere. Whatever YouTubers do, I don't know, but you can check that out first and then come back to this video because in this video, we're just focusing on some awesome basic and intermediate combos. So let's jump right in. All right, so for this combo, I want you to ignore everything on the field and everything else in our hand except for Fractal. The purpose of this combo is to show you how you can use just one card, specifically Fractal, to get Appaloosa or Appaloosa onto the field, which can be very handy depending on the situation that you're in. So let's say we got just Fractal here that we can use. We activate its effect and that lets us send Kit into the graveyard, which basically creates another effect, which allows us to send Nerval into the graveyard which then allows us to draw the card that we want here, which is Caress. So we end up with Caress in our hand and we're going to just activate it onto the field. And we don't need to, I should, I should say summon, not activate, but we're going to activate its effect once it's on the field. And we're gonna get rid of three cards from our graveyard here, basically all the three that we use so far. And this will allow us to bring forth the Doom Eagle, this guy, what was his name again? Krasselberger? Crystalberger? Yeah. And so now that we have these two bad boys on the field, we can go into Apollo USA. <laughs> now, this isn't the optimal way to get Appaloosa onto the field because you can get it with 2,400 points, attack points. This one will only have 1,600, which means that with its effect, what it's basically doing is that it can negate two other monster effects before it goes down to zero attack. But still, this is a useful one card combo that you should know because you never know when you might need to pull out this card. Let's move on. In this combo, I'm gonna show you how you can summon your Zeus using just one Zodiac card in your hand. So here we drew Zodiac Ram Ram. It doesn't really matter. We could have used any Zodiac monster, so we summon it onto the field. And now we're going to stack a bunch of Zodiac Xyz on it. So we're gonna start with Zodiac Borbo here. And the reason why is because in order to summon Zeus, we need to have an Xyz monster that was involved in an attack and live to tail the tail. Borbo can attack life points directly, so we do that here, it's pretty handy. And then we go to main phase two. And now we're just gonna stack the rest of our Zodiacs. So normally, Something like this requires three level four monsters, but because of its monster effect, because of the Zodiacs, we are able to just stack them as much. Whoa, I stack, why can't I say stack? We're stacking them as much as we want. Uh, and we're trying to get as many materials as possible here for Zeus, so that ideally we can use Zeus's effect multiple times, should we need it, or you know, if Zeus survives. It's uh, Pretty common that you'll put Zeus on the board and then uh, he'll get wiped out pretty quickly, but it's it's no big deal. The board wiping effect is what you're looking for here. So we get to Dryden before we get to Zeus and Dryden does have a useful ability that you can or don't have to activate. So once per turn, you can detach one material from this card and target one face up monster or target any face up card actually, and you can destroy it. I'm not going to use it here just for the purpose of this combo and I generally don't use it when I'm trying to do this because I'm trying to minimize the amount of actions I take that could trigger a trap card because <laughs> I don't know what's going on you know we got the hand here we don't know what's face down on the field I'm just trying to minimize uh, the the room that my opponent has to make a counter move so remember Zeus is being summoned here because we had an attack with an Xyz monster on this turn and lived to tail the tail with it. So now we're just gonna stack Zeus on top of this. And because we're in main phase two, we're gonna wanna put Zeus in defense position because what if the opponent has lightning storm, right? Like imagine you put Zeus and then it gets destroyed on the next turn because of lightning storm. So defense position, sometimes I make the mistake and put him in attack position just because I'm so excited to get this sweet ass little summoning animation. But anyway, now you can activate Zeus's effect and uh, you just need to discard two items or materials from it. And oh my gosh, no, let's just wipe the board. There we go. <laughs> we wipe the board and that's how you get Zeus onto the field using just one Zodiac monster. Anyway, let's move on. 
In this combo, I'm going to show you what you can do when you have Kit and any other Tri Brigade monster. So we start by summoning Kit onto the field, and we're actually going to want this in the graveyard. So we're going to go to our extra deck, we're going to summon Salamangrate Almirage, and this will basically let us activate Kit's effect for free. So well, I'll just summon this on the field, doesn't really matter which side. And now we get to use Kit's effect, which lets us send something to the graveyard. So what we're going to send to the graveyard is a Nerval because Nerval is going to let us bring a monster into our hand, and what we want here is uh, Tri Brigade Karas. And so now we can use Karas' effect to special summon him onto the field, and this is handy because we're gonna be sending another monster to the graveyard, which is what we want. So we're gonna activate the special effect here, we're gonna summon, in this case we have Nerval again in our hand, but any Tri Brigade monster will work here. Uh, this Nerval, we don't get to use the effect though because we already used Nerval's effect in the graveyard. Next up, what we want to do here is activate Snurvel's on-field effect, so we're going to banish two cards from our graveyard, and we're going to, it doesn't really matter which two, but we're going to bring forth Bear Brum, and Bear Brum is going to lead into some more combos, basically, or I should say an extension of this combo. So now we have Bear Brum on the field, and what we're going to do here is go to our extra deck, we're going to pull out a Rugal, and we're just going to do this and this as the material for it, let the animations play out, we get Rugal onto the field, and remember we still have Almirage, so what we're going to do at this point though is we're going to activate Rugal's effect, which is what we really want, and uh, we're going to pull forth Tri Brigade Revolt, because this is one of our ace cards that lets us basically flood the field on the next turn. So we can send back one Nibiru, we don't need two in our hands, but just keep in mind when you use when you use the effect of Bear Brum of this card, uh, once you pull your Tri Brigade Revolt, you do need to send something back to the deck. So we're going to put down Revolt, and at this point, uh, we can just end our turn. I mean, we're on turn three here. I'm just in the middle of a duel, technically, so like I could attack and all that stuff. But for the purpose of this combo, I'm just going to skip all of that stuff. We're going to move on. All right, so what happens when you have a Zodiac and a Fractal in your hand? Well, you can just use Fractal to do any of his, you know, one card combos that are in this video. But if you want to use both of these cards, what you end up doing here is you activate, Fract you activate Fractal's effect. Kit goes to the graveyard, like always. And then we bring Nerval into the graveyard, which then brings us a monster into our hand. So what we're going to do here is, let's say, Karas. And then from here on out, we're going to special summon Karas onto the field, <laughs> which might seem bizarre, but uh, it lets us uh, get rid of Zodiac there. And uh, how many cards do we have in the graveyard now? We have, yeah, we have the four that we wanted. So now we activate Karas's effect and we can banish four cards. And once we do that, we bring forth one of our boss monsters, which is the Ominous Omen, Shireg. And Shireg is good, but this is a weird turn one play <laughs> like you wouldn't necessarily want to use this as your turn one play uh unless you have no other options the reason it's weird is because your opponent's gonna have a full hand right so they're probably gonna get rid of this stuff and you don't have tri brigade revolt on the field to help you out although our hand's looking our hand's not looking bad here so not the worst play in the world but what i'm saying for this specific combo don't think of this as like your bread and butter combo. It's just another option that you need to know depending on the situation that you're in. And one thing to keep in mind with this combo, it's kind of all or nothing because you've now emptied out your graveyard, which is, you know, your precious resources that you use for this type of deck. So we don't have Tri Brigade uh, Revolt on the field and our graveyard is empty. So you're kind of, you know, putting all of your eggs in one basket. It's great that in this particular example, we have called by the grave and impermanence here that we can put down on the field. But yeah, just keep in mind, this is not your go-to combo. This is just something you need to be aware of in case you need to use it. Anyway, well, let's move on. Here we have another hand that you can play multiple ways, but I'm going to show you how to play it through Nerval if that's the situation that you're in in a real duel. So you summon Nerval and then you go to your extra deck to get Almirage out onto the field. This will allow us to use Nerval's effect. And this is a two card combo, so you need Nerval and one of your other tri-type monsters. So now that Nerval's in the graveyard, we can bring Karas into our hand right here. And we're going to use Karas' special ability, so we're going to activate that effect. It will special summon itself at the cost of one of our tri-types. So uh, I'm just going to put this up in face-up face attack position. And 
For the purpose of this combo, we don't actually need to do this effect. So I'm going to click cancel here. But when you're in a real duel, if you need more materials in your graveyard, absolutely in this situation, you can use Kit's effect. So from here on out, what do we do? We use Karas's effect. We banish two monsters from the graveyard and we're going to bring out Bear Brum in just a moment here. As soon as the animations finish, oh my God, there we go. Bear Brum's onto the field now, and from here on out, we go to our extra deck, and we can summon Rugal. So we just need to get rid of Bear Brum, and we need to get rid of Karas. Rugal's on the field now, and because Bear Brum's going to the graveyard, we can pull forth, or call forth our, what do you call it, Tri Brigade Revolt, which is our lovely trap card that we know and love so much. So. We put that, oh, first we have to put something back into the deck, that's right. So once you use Bear Brum's effect, keep in mind, I know I've said this a million times in other videos and probably in this video too, but keep in mind that when you use Bear Brum's effect, so this card, and you get your Tri Brigade, you need to put something back into the deck. So in this case, I'm gonna do Lightning Storm, and now you have Revolt on the field. And now you're really nicely set up for the next turn. So on the next turn, you can pop Salaman Great to make Rugal more protected with Salaman's effect. And then uh, in the end phase, or if you need to, need to do it earlier in your opponent's turn, you can activate Tri Brigade Revolt. So that's how you play through Nerval if you have to. Let's move on. In this combo, I'm going to show you what you can do when you have Karas and Kit in your hand, and you're going to end up with an Apollo USA, an Appalooza, and a Tri Brigade Revolt. So we start by activating the effect of Karas here, and that will special summon it to the field, and it will send our Kit into the graveyard. So we can put it in attack mode or defense, doesn't really matter here for, you know, this example. And we activate Kit's effect. So next up, we do our typical play where we send Nerval to the graveyard, and then now we get to draw because of Nerval's effect and we draw Fractal into our hand here. So from here on out, we're gonna activate Karas's effect on the field and that's gonna let us special summon and we're going to bring forth Bear Brum. After we get Bear Brum on the field, we're also gonna play Fractal onto the field and use its effect in just a moment, or not its effect, we're gonna use it to summon, what am I saying? So here we go to our extra deck and we can bust out our Appalooza. So this thing will have 2400 attack now, which means it can use its effect basically three times. And because we're sending Bear Brum into the graveyard, like we always do, it lets us get our Tri Brigade Revolt. And then we just need to, you know, set that down and we can, we can end our turn. Oh, that's right. That's right. I always forget. You got to send something back. So I'm going to send back, hmm. Our Peace Feather Duster, why not? It doesn't matter, it's just an example. So we set down Tri Brigade Revolt, and that's our little combo. That's how you get to play with Karas and Kit. Let's move on to the next one. Here I'm gonna show you one more combo you can do with just Fractal, so ignore everything else on the field, and in my hand, pretend it doesn't exist. We're gonna activate Fractal's effect, and as you've heard me say a thousand times, we're gonna send this purple-haired child soldier thing into the graveyard. Hmm, a little sus. A little sus, but lets us send Nerval into the graveyard, which then lets us draw a card, like always. We'll just get Fractal again. It doesn't really matter, you can do any Tri Brigade at that point. So we summon Fractal onto the field, we use its effect, and we're going to banish two cards. Uh, we could go for the three, but for this combo we're just going to go for the two, and then uh, we're going to get rid of those two. Doesn't matter which two, it can be any two, and we're going to put Bear Brum onto the field. So from here on out, we're going to bring Rugal onto the field. I always want to call him Silver. I don't know why in my mind he's called Silver, but we put Rugal on here. And because we put Bear Brum in the graveyard, as you might remember from uh, the 18,000 other times I already said this, <laughs> we can now pull for Tri Brigade Revolt and uh, we can put that on the field. But first we have to send back one of our cards uh, to the deck, which we'll do there. Now keep in mind, uh, Rugal's attack here is boosted because I have Tenki. Pretend Tenki isn't here on the field in this example. I just kept reloading this duel and not drawing a Fractal for like six times in a row and I got frustrated. <laughs> so that's how you go from just a Fractal into a Rugal and into a Tri Brigade Revolt. And you will have a number of materials, you know, in your graveyard and banished. Uh, actually, I had extra materials banished here because I had to use Pot of Desires. Anyway, let's move on. Now, one thing I want to point out is that we're always trying to get Tri Brigade Revolt onto the field if we can and if the situation allows for it, because Tri Brigade Revolt is such a powerful card 
it can really help you turn the tide of battle when it's on your opponent's turn and you know you're just swarming the field summoning your boss monster using its effect to destroy other cards it's really great try brigade revolt rules Thanks everybody for watching, I really appreciate it. If you want to see more combos, if you want to see more advanced combos as well, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you like this video, you know, maybe consider subscribing, maybe consider giving it a like or sharing it with your friends or hitting the notification bell or whatever else it is that other YouTubers say that you should do. I have no idea. I don't even know how to close the video. Goodbye. I love you.